Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the Point Lonesome Swamp, here in the oasis of freedom. Hallelujah. I have six more weeks in the oasis of freedom, but it is a glorious Monday, February 21st, 2022, I believe. So I guess it's time for my Corona Panic Roundup rant. And guys, I was, I had it all planned to come beat this dead horse about this little fucking Nazi up there, this little limp dick lefty Nazi uh, up there in Canada. Uh, you know, the little tyrant himself, Justin Trudeau, or Justin Trudeau. Uh, but I'm glad to see that even my buddy Vegematic uh, did not have it in him to uh, do another rant about this distraction from the distraction from the distraction from the distraction. So uh, I guess Vegematic, I guess you had nothing else you could talk about, brother. There was nothing else you could talk about. Anyway, ah, uh, but if, if that shit show up there in uh, Canada is not worth the, even a passing comment from uh, Justin Trudeau's biggest fan, then why should I be wasting my fucking time talking about that little maggot? Uh, just a couple of, uh, this is going to be a quick roundup. I am exhausted. I need to go hit the hammock. So, uh, I just, just a couple of comments, and then we're going to move on to, we don't even have to move on to the percentage calculator. So is Justin Trudeau a tyrant? Dictionary.com, a sovereign or other ruler who uses power oppressively or unjustly. I would say Justin Trudeau is a tyrant. And one more, an absolute ruler unrestrained by law or constitution. There you go. Uh, I am, uh, once again, uh, check. Justin Trudeau is a tyrant. Even, uh, what's his name? I already forgot. Good Lord. The guy over in Greenland, he even, even he understands it. I'm completely forgetting that guy's name. That is hilarious. This isn't, a, this isn't an act. I have no idea what that guy over there in Greenland getting all of that shit uh, from Sandy this week. But even he understands. He understands it. Bill Maher understands it. Good for that lefty Bill Maher, Mayor Maher, uh, calling Justin Trudeau exactly what the little fucker is. And you know, and anybody looking at those uh, videos from Ottawa on Saturday at this point, looking at that uh, police crackdown of those protesters, and can still and and can support that. I, 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 I don't know what to do. You either you fucking get it or you don't. You get it or you don't. This, the, you know, it, this is just a, a page right out of my new Bible. My new Bible, I'm sure you're sick of me talking about it, The Every by Dave Eggers. <clears throat> that shit uh, that went down in Ottawa on Saturday uh, with those uh, jack boots, those SS jack boots beating up on all those uh, unarmed demonstrators. Page right out of the book. All right, we got some airboats cranking up. I'm going to miss the airboats. And, uh, you know, it's just as I've mentioned, uh, as the every talks about, you're just going for, for people who get what the fuck is going on on this planet, what this uh, planet is becoming, the, the surveillance state, police state, 
who fucking get it. You get it or you don't. And uh, <clears throat> that we're just gonna have to sit back and watch our very own friends uh, drink this damn Kool-Aid. And we just have to decide whether what's more important to us, uh, the friendship or whether or not uh, our friends drink the fucking Kool-Aid in any way uh, is your decision, but more and more of my uh, quickly uh, declining number of friends are pretty much just fed up with it. Either you fucking get it or you don't what's going on on this planet. Okay. You, you fucking get it or you don't. Does, does, is one, one more comment from me, then I'm going to read a couple of comments, then we're going to get over to what I've always been talking about here. Gotta love these airboats. See, you, you know, I'm almost going to miss these motherfuckers uh, when I leave here in six weeks. Because an airboat, an, an airboat, uh, it, it, it epitomizes every single thing that is wrong with this planet. That motherfucking airboat. Every single thing that is wrong with this planet is summed up in an airboat. If we can't get fucking airboats off the fucking planet, we sure as hell ain't gonna get the, the rise of the police state off the planet. But one more thing I wanted to say is all these comments that I'm hearing about these right-wing billionaires supporting this this trucker convoy, uh, all I can say is the at least the videos I saw of those protesters in, in Ottawa getting, you know, thunked on the head by the fucking cops, I didn't see one of them in a truck. I saw hundreds, if not thousands, of people who look like pretty much everyday people not in a fucking truck. My guess is truckers are make up a tiny percentage of the actual protesters up there. Uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't there, but as far as the right-wing billionaires uh, bankrolling the truckers convoy, good for the fucking right-wing billionaires. I'd rather them be spending their fucking money uh, on, uh, de you know, defending our civil rights uh, than what they usually spend it on. Like, uh, maybe I think people uh, talking about these fucking right-wing billionaires underwriting something, maybe you need to look at the fucking right-wing billionaires, the left-wing billionaires, the no-wing billionaires uh, funding that little corporate oil-soaked whore Justin Trudeau. It's the same batch of them funding uh, Joe Biden. Why don't we talk about that bunch of fucking millionaires, billionaires, uh, funding those motherfuckers? You know, we need to be a hell of a lot more worried about those motherfucking billionaires. Uh, anyway, all of this shit, uh, keeping up this fake meme uh, about that anybody who is uh, who understands what's going on on this fucking planet uh, and, and, is, and is calling it out. Uh, you, you know, don't you get tired of, of hearing your own horse shit, you little fucking limp dick lefties? Good for, uh, as I say, Bill Maher for coming out on the record. Uh, anyway, but enough of my comments. I just want to, uh, a few comments from my, uh, my, uh, 52 minute video a week ago today. Limp dick lefty lemmings cheer on pretty boy Nazi dictator Justin Trudeau for declaring martial law in Canada. We're going to uh, pick up with yet another comment from this fellow, this uh, Canadian listener, Sebastian Hutton, uh, talking about going, you know, from becoming a doomer 
to becoming someone with a brain, knowing, uh, seeing what's going on on this planet with this distraction. <clears throat> a decade ago, when I pulled my head out of my ass, I lost many friends. Become, becoming an environmentalist and a vegan made me an extreme lefty snob. Although I never impose my lifestyle choices on anyone, and I always believe in respecting the choices of everyone, I was only doing what I felt was right in the face of our world going down in flames. I have now, you know, since, you know, being a Canadian, supporting the uh, people against the mandates, being a Canadian, not supporting uh, that little uh, Nazi uh, tyrant. Uh, uh, I have now lost the remaining friends I had, meaning his little limp dick lefty friends, but because being opposed to a now very overt dictatorship makes me a racist, misogynist, right-wing Trump-tard. In the grand scheme of things, maybe this will be a footnote in history. That's exactly what it will be. But for me, this is my collapse. I have lost pretty much everything that used to bring me joy, and I have no hope of things getting better at this point in the game. Is there even a point to keep going? Then we're going to hear from uh, Jeff Peck. Jeff Peck. I don't know if he's from Canada or not. <clears throat> What I have learned from Corona Panic emotion, what I have learned from Corona Panic, emotion squelches logic and supporting evidence. I have encountered so many under this spell of Corona Panic and the least informed about the actual facts, but instead are immersed in fear porn. That is why. Vegematic and others cannot understand basic math about case fatality and case infection as you uh, demonstrated and, and I'm going to come back to that because that is what I have always been saying about Corona Panic since day one this is a bad hair day and we're going to wrap up this rant with one story out of the mainstream media. <clears throat> I suspect this fear porn pandemic will burn itself out and eventually a few more percentage of people will realize they have been used and toyed with by manipulation of emotion. All right, and of course, Mark J. I'm just going to read the first paragraph of Mark J's uh, weekly soliloquy. First rate commentary, greatly appreciated by this member of the right wing, freedom loving, lunatic fringe. <laughs> he, he's kidding. Uh, and who would have guessed two years ago that it would be the liberal left that is most assiduously destroying personal freedoms, not the right, and that Tucker Carlson of Fox News would be the one commentator among establishment news networks who is cheering on the Canadian truck drivers. The only one. Black is white. Up is down these days. And Eric Powell with eight thumbs up. Take it away, Eric Powell. The bullshit is reaching critical mass. Humanity has been pushed to its mental limits. Science was the first fatality. Second was freedom. TV news forced fear, isolation, 
hypodermic needle jab junkies, censoring fear, fear, fear has seriously fucked people up. There is a portion of the population that have completely lost their shit over this nonsense. The airboat will second that motion. Uh, there is a portion of the population, yeah, like 80%, that have completely lost their shit over this nonsense. Everyone had to take a good look at their mortality. Human contact equals death. We're all so self-important, but one day we were we are all going to stop breathing. And we're gonna wind up with my buddy Basil Peterson. Good old brother Basil Peterson. Uh up there from New York, baby. <clears throat> Never let a disaster go to waste to remove liberties. Shock doctrine since 9-11. So it goes. Yes, Brother Basil, so it goes. So anyway, and with that, I am going to try to never mention that fucking little Nazi dictator tyrant, Justin Trudeau, uh, at least in this context again, although I'm sure his name will come up like it did last week when we were talking about that imports of Alberta crude, you know, the dirtiest fuel on the planet. At, but, you know, imports from Canada, well, exports from Canada, imports to the U.S. are at record levels. Okay, but of course, the real rant for anybody still, uh, still waiting for me, uh... Okay, we're going to make two Corona Panic rants because I realize I'm talking to myself and I don't want to mention Justin Trudeau's name in the rant. So I'm going to come back with a, hopefully like a five minute uh, rant. I mean, up in one minute, we're going to talk about who is really dying from Corona Panic. <clears throat> 